I have to tell you, Steve, it, it was a, a very exciting time, but also uh, temporarily a terrifying time. I mean, I've been with the Times for 26 years. Um, if you work for the New York Times or the Washington Post or other, other institutions like that, doors open because you, people return your phone calls because you are from the Times. And when you, I remember thinking, and, and I was on the publisher's payroll, so I had to write a resignation letter personally to the publisher of the New York Times and tell him I was resigning. And I remember typing it up and getting ready to, to take it in to the publisher. And I thought, God, I wonder, I wonder after I jump off the high board here if there's going to be any water in the pool. <laughs> Am I going to go splat on the bottom of the pool? And it, is it going to work? And it worked wonderfully, and I was very happy to have done it. It was, it was just immediately challenging. It was a brand new medium. And it came at a time when I think lots of us need a, a growth spurt. What happens is you've done things, you've done things well, you've succeeded reasonably well, you can go on doing what you're doing. There are other niches you can go to. Um, but if you're forced to learn new techniques, a new craft, take your skills and reshape them. And I had no idea at the time how much business skill I would need and, and how many other skills I would need beyond the journalistic skills. Thank God, it's kind of like getting married. If you really knew what was going to happen, <laughs> you might not do it, but you're young and you go ahead. So I was young. I was only 55, so what the hell. Um, so I decided to do it, and I, I, I took it and I went. And I, I have to say, I've never looked back. It's one of the best things I've ever done in my life.